Hi, welcome to chapter 5 of the UVM primer code videos. Uh, there is no chapter 4 because there's no code examples in chapter 4, so you didn't miss one. We just jumped on to 5. In this chapter, we talked about classes and extending classes, and we compared that to using structs. And we used the simple example of a, of a square and a rectangle to talk about this topic. We see in our code here that we have a rectangle struct and we have and it contains a length and a width and we have a square struct and it just contains a single side. And in our module we declare a variable to hold a rectangle struct and we declare a variable to hold a square struct and that sets aside the memory that we need to hold these uh, these items. And then we start up and we store the length and the width in the rectangle struct. And if we want to calculate the area we have to know how to do that so we say uh, length times width, that gives us the area of a rectangle. Our square struct only has the side, because everything is the same length, and oddly enough, we square it to figure out its area. So that's how, in the old way, the old approach, we would handle uh, storing a, uh, a rectangle in a struct. And some of the things you notice here is that these things don't know that they have any relationship with each other. Uh, they don't know what an area is. Um, there's, uh, it's very difficult to reuse this code. Let's look at the same approach but using classes. So we start out and we create a, uh, a class called a rectangle. So a class is a, a definition of a type. And uh, we declare a class and we say that uh, the class contains two data members. These are called data members. One called length and one called width and it has a method so all of the functions and tasks in a class are called methods this one's called a constructor new what this does is this sets aside uh, the, the memory that will hold our object so the class is going to be instantiated as an object and uh, we passed the length and the width and we store them uh, in this constructor and then the rectangle knows how to calculate its own area so we uh, just created a method called area which returns length times width. So now we've encapsulated the concept of a rectangle. It's got length and it's got width and it's got area. We can extend a class by saying that basically this new class is one of these other classes with some additional information. Uh, in this case a, case, a square is a kind of rectangle. And so we're going to extend rectangle and, we're all, and you notice we don't have to declare a length or a width because a rectangle has a length and a width. We don't have to worry about that. We do create another uh, constructor. We replace the new method, and this is called overriding it. So the class has a the, the rectangle class has a new method, but we're going to override it with our own new method for square. And that only has one argument, which is side, but it calls, and this is the word super here, it calls the uh, new method of its parent class and you can see here that you create a square by creating a rectangle whose length and width are the same length. So now we can see that we've leveraged everything about a rectangle by, uh, by simply extending rectangle and then creating a constructor that leverages the, the uh, rectangles constructor. When we use this we go into our module and we declare a variable to hold a handle to an object. So when you have an object, uh, it has a, a handle is a, the memory pointer to that object. And we, but we don't use the word pointer because you really can't do anything like pointer arithmetic or anything like that with it. It's just a handle. We have a handle uh, for the rectangle and a handle for the square. When we start up here, the first thing we do is we create a new rectangle. Now remember in the struct, when we declared the variable, it set aside the memory for a rectangle. That doesn't happen with objects. When we declared the variable rectangle, it set aside enough room for the handle. When we call this constructor, that creates the object and stores the handle in rectangle H. So now we have a new rectangle, and since a rectangle knows how to calculate its area, we can just call rectangle.area and we get the area. Our square, we just say new and we pass it the side. It handles the fact that the length and the width are the same and all of that stuff. And when we want the area of a square, we say square.area. Now you'll notice that our square 
class doesn't declare area. It doesn't say what area looks like. It inherits area from rectangle. So this is the method that actually gets called multiplying the length times the width. And because a square is a kind of a rectangle, and because the area are calculated the same way in both, we get the correct answer. And so this is our first uh, example of creating object-oriented uh, coding, and our first example of classes and extensions.